you know, I was a teenager back then too, thinking that messing around with these kind of things was innocent, when in reality, it's not. But let me share with you my experience and let you know what happened. So here it is. When I was about in the fourth or fifth grade, I'm thinking I was in the fifth grade, fifth or sixth grade, I don't, I don't really remember. All I know is I was in junior high. I was in junior high. I'm not gonna say what school I went to, but when I was in junior high, I never really liked reading. So I remember that one day our teacher told us, okay, you have to check out a book and you have to read it and then do like, um, not an essay. We weren't gonna talk about the books because I remember I, she just wanted us to, to encourage us to read. And that's all I remember. So what I did is, of course, not liking to read, I was gonna get the very thinnest, smallest book that I can find. So, in the very back of the library, um, there was this area. I think it was like, they had like scary books and stuff like that. And the book that I ended up checking out was a very small book with like maybe 20 pages maybe even less than that. That book had like in the, in the beginning, I don't remember the title of it, but um, in the front of it, it's, it was, it had candles and it kind of like told you what each candle color was for. And of course it gave you like, you know, if you wanted to do spells or stuff like that, which to tell you the truth, you know, when I was a teenager, I was not a Christian. I am now. I wasn't thin, and back then, I also thought that that kind of stuff, like that book, to me, that was like, I thought it was nothing. I thought it was no big deal. I, was, I just thought it was like silly, really. And the reason why I picked it out more than anything was because it was a very small book, like I said, less than 20 pages to read, and it was good for me. So, anyway, I remember that night, well, I remember that day, coming home from school. Now when I would come home from school, my parent, both of my parents worked. So when I got home, they weren't at home. They were at work and I probably was at home for like an hour or two before they actually you know, got home from work. So I remember coming home from uh, school and I remember going to my room, putting my book down. I remember scanning over it. You know, I didn't read it. I just kind of scanned over it, you know, and just to kind of see pictures because like I said it had a picture of a lot of candles and it kind of told you like what different candles were for like the red was for love the green was for money and you know different stuff like that anyway I remember that um, since I had just come home from school I was you know hungry and tired so I put the book down next to my bed you know just laying like this just flat you know I, it was open but it was like this flat I'm delaying it like that. And um, I walked to, from my room to the kitchen and I was fixing myself like a sandwich or something. And I was, anyway, I got this like the eerie feeling. So from the kitchen, I can like look like this and I can see the door to my room. And I could see the table where I had laid a book like this. Well, when I looked like that and I saw the book, the pages of the book were flipping, were flipping. And I looked at it and I was like, it, it scared me. But then I was kind of like, you know, like, you know, I just kind of looked away and, and I didn't look back. And I was thinking to myself, oh, cause I remember thinking to myself, oh, you know, I, I think I left the window to my room open and maybe, you know, the wind was blowing the pages. So I just finished my sandwich and doing whatever I was doing in the kitchen. And um, I went to my room and when I got to my room, the window was closed. So there, and there was no wind, no fan in my room, nothing to be flipping those pages. But, you know, I just kind of like, I don't know, I just kind of blew it off like thinking, you know, it was probably just my imagination or whatever, you know. So then later that day when my parents get home, and this, and some of this story is a little bit kind of like, um, 
I don't remember everything about it. Like I don't remember. I know for a fact that I did not go to my parents and tell them, oh, look at what book I checked out. I know that for sure because it's just not me. I just don't do that, you know? But for somehow, some reason, some way, my mom saw the book and she's like, what are you doing with this book? I go, what do you mean? She goes, yeah, she goes, this book, you shouldn't have these kind of books. She goes, you could bring demons into the house and you know, spirits and all that kind of stuff, you know? And of course me, I was like, yeah, right, whatever. I just kind of laughed at it. I was like, whatever. I go, it's just a book. And she was like, okay. She, she told me in Spanish, she goes, what did she, let me see if I can remember what she said. She said something like, ahí te va, si no te pasa algo. That's what she said. Which means in English, um, let's see if I can translate. Uh, it means like, okay, wait and see. I hope nothing happens to you, but you know, you know. So um, I was like, you know, I was a kid. Like I said, I was fifth or sixth grade, I don't remember. And junior high. Anyway, so um, I was like, okay, you know, just kind of laughed it off. And that was it. Well, later that night, I went to bed. Well, okay. I remember reading the book, you know, reading. And the thing about it is, let me tell you something about that book. To me, it was like hilarious that, you know, some of the spells that were on there because a lot of the ingredients that you needed to make the spells was like ridiculous. Like, I'll just give you an example of one. I don't remember the spell, but I'll just, I'll just tell you like an example of how what you need it for this kind of stuff. Like, let's just say the leg of a frog. Like I'm gonna go out and chop the leg off of a frog to do a spell. Okay, that just ain't me, okay? So to me it was, I was kind of more like, I thought it was funny, like, oh my God, some of the stuff that you needed to do this kind of stuff was like ridiculous. I'm like, well, I'm never gonna do any of these kind of stuff for sure, you know? I just did it, like I said, I just, I don't like to read, so I got it because it was like the thinnest book that I could find in the library of the, high, of the junior high school. And um, so, anyway, I just thought it was funny and ridiculous and I was like, I'm never gonna do that. I don't even, you know, why even worry about, you know, like my mom said, you know, that I could bring demons. Well, I'm not gonna use that, any of that stuff. I'm not gonna do any of that stuff. So, you know, it's not gonna, nothing's gonna happen. And even, even then, I really didn't even believe in that kind of stuff. Okay, then I went to bed. Well, I turned off the lights, I went to bed. And as soon as I laid my head down, as soon as I laid my head down, and I was sleeping to the side, as soon as I laid my head down, it kind of, I thought, I was like, is my head throbbing? I mean, as soon as I laid my head down, it was like, I remember I started thinking, is my head throbbing? Because it felt like, like, you know, here's my head, and I was like, I'm like, I was thinking I had, you know, my head was throbbing. So then I got up. So then I got up on the bed and I sat down like this and I put my hands on the bed like this. And that bed was moving. It was not moving like the exorcist, but it was breathing. It was going like this. And I was so scared that I could not scream and I could not move. And the weird thing about that is that as soon as, you know, as soon as that, it seems like when it, as soon as that happened, my mom came to my room, because my door was closed. She came to my room, opened up my door, turned on the lights, and she looked at me, she goes, what's wrong? Like she knew something was happening, something was wrong. Because my mom is not the kind of person that at night, before she goes to bed, comes and says good night you know, like, and opens up our door and all, anything like that. No, it's almost as if she could sense that something was not right. And when she did that, I told her what happened. And she was like, see, I told you, I told you, you're gonna bring the demons into this house. She goes, you better take that book right home. The next, I mean, take that book to school the next day. She goes, that help, that book better not be here tomorrow when I come home and da 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 And I was like, I know, I was, I'm not gonna, trust me, I don't. So, 
Anyway, yes, I took the book back the next day, gladly. And that night I slept with my parents. And um, needless to say, since that day, until this day, to this day forward, I, I always have a night light. And some people, some of my friends, have told me, oh, aren't you gonna turn off the light? To my night light? I'm like, oh, no, 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 that's my night light. And they look at me and they laugh and they're like, that's more like a spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> because I like my room very bright and I rarely can ever sleep when, it, when it's really dark and um, I, now that I have Sammy he really doesn't like the light so I make it a little bit darker for him because he, he thinks when there's lights he has to be up so I have to make it a little bit darker for him but if I did not have Sammy with me that room would be shining bright as this room right now <laughs> and, but anyway one thing I want to tell you guys that was my experience with that. Even though I never did the spells, even though I didn't even finish reading the book, um, and it was only like 20 pages or less, that spirits, that spirits, you know, attach themselves to attach themselves to things. Okay. So, like I was saying, evil spirits like to attract like to attach themselves to things. And even though you may not, let's just say you buy an Uji board or, or like me, get a book, you know, just because even if you never use it, it could already have something evil attached to it, which could harm you. Now, I also wanna let you guys know that even though I returned the book back to the school, whatever, evil was there it did not leave it was still there haunting I was always scared and not just that but my bed did move like several days later my bed moved again like it breathed like that again um, I had nightmares of course I would have nightmares and and then another time my bed moved again and I wasn't it wasn't even in that room or that house it was in another house that house was my parents' house. My, I was staying at my grandparents' house one, one day and it happened again. So I had to pray to God, this is what I did. I had to pray to God to help me to get rid of those, or that spirit, evil spirit, whatever it was that was taunting me because, and only with consistent prayer, I prayed a lot. And my mom, I remember my mom and me, um, we went into the room and we prayed, you know, and prayed and prayed. And we would do that almost every day for a long time, you know, to help God to rid, get rid of the spirits and stuff like that. And um, after that, like I said, it only happened like three more times, but I did have night, a lot of nightmares, even years later. And everyone's in a blue moon now too. But my bed has never again moved like that. So I hope that this experience will help you guys not to even mess around with anything that has to do with um, spirits, Uji, um, anything that has to do with, that calls the spirits. Because, you know, like the Bible says, they can harm you, you know, and you really don't want that. Just wanted to share that with you guys, especially now that we're in a time where, um, or in a season where you know people like to you know mess around with that kind of stuff and they think it's innocent and it can't harm them but you know so just wanted to share my story and my experience and also um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and there's a little bell next to the subscribe button don't forget to hit that and I will um, I guess see you next time bye